emergency after a science lab went bad. A sudden explosion, the teacher caught on fire, the students terrified, was enough done to keep the students safe. Here tonight, ABC's Paula Ferris. A frightening moment in this Arizona high school classroom. After a routine science experiment exploded. Students screaming their teacher's name. One had to jump in and douse the flames. It was a common experiment the teacher had done many times before. A match hovering over a five-gallon jug containing ethanol. Supposed to look like this. But school officials say the container unexpectedly... He doesn't know what that's all about. Uh. ...pieces of plastic to hit the teacher, burning her, and causing one student minor injuries. This is not an isolated incident. Thirteen were injured at Reno's Discovery Museum after an explosion the fire department determined was caused by employee error. As for that Arizona teacher, she's been released from the hospital, the school now reviewing its protocol on classroom safety. Tonight, the National Science Teachers Association tells ABC News that this situation could have been prevented with simple safety steps. The government requires teachers who deal with hazardous chemicals to have those safety plans in place. David. All right, Paula Ferris tonight. Paula, thank you. And to the economy tonight, and it was a wild ride on Wall Street, the Dow closing down nearly <laughs> 280 points over concerns about Greece and China and disappointing earnings from two American companies, American Express and General Electric. There is still much more ahead on World News tonight this Friday and breaking this evening. Dr. Oz responding after a group of doctors called for him to be fired, calling him a fake. Tonight, how Dr. Oz is fighting back. That's in a moment. Also tonight, the Kentucky Derby just around the corner now, and there's a big change coming. What spectators are now being told they cannot do. And then the terrifying.